Hi, I'm Alex, and this lesson today we're going to teach you how to go through a car wash in the United States with your car and how we pay. Now, most places um, accept card. They don't take cash. Um, sometimes they do, but uh, most Americans pay by card now, like a credit card or debit card. But right now, we're going to go through the car wash. So, you're going to follow along. So it's a privilege and honor to have a car in the U.S. because most places uh, in rural cities or towns, uh, small cities that don't have public transportation, you need a car to go to work. You need a car to find, uh, pick up friends or family because uh, in the U.S. things are spread out in, in different ways. But here we are, heading to the car wash. So as you can see, they have different options here you can use, like to pay by card and different things. And so for me, Welcome I'm going to use Welcome to Firehouse Express Car Wash. To purchase a car wash, make a selection and enter your method of payment. So I need to make a selection and enter my method of payment. That's what the machine said. And they do have an option for cash if you want to pay by cash. Yeah, oh, I can. Okay. Thank you for your help. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do the cheap one. It's called Rookie. Um, some car washes have funny names for all their options, but really they just do that for prices. So there's a $5 option, there's an $8 option, an $11 option, a $14 option. It might be a little hard to see because the sun is hitting us right now, but uh, I'm going to go with the cheapest option, which is $5. And rookie then, wash. Please deposit the amount shown. Please deposit the amount shown. That's what the machine just said. So that means I need to use my card or I need to put a $5 bill in there. So I'm gonna pay by card. Processing. And now my payment is processing. So now I wait. And often it will print a receipt for you too. Thank you for your purchase. Right. For a receipt, press print. And if you're doing business or anything like that, you might want a receipt for your records. Let's say you work at a car dealership and they say you need to walk, you need to go. Thank you for your purchase. Please wait for the gate and proceed to the But I guess the receipt machine in. didn't print my receipt, so I will not get one today. <laughs> and here's what the car wash looks like. I put my car in neutral, so I'm driving a manual, so that means the N, or put it in N. Okay, driving. And then they spray my car, and then I stop, foot off the brake, my car in neutral, hands off the wheel, everything down. My windows need to be up, otherwise there'll be a leak. If the, if the windows are not up, uh, water will fall into my car, and it will be a disaster. Um, but here's just the experience. You, know, you get a ride in here. My children love doing this because it's kind of a fun experience. And you'll see right now, if you look in front, you'll see this really neat thing spinning and washing our cars. And this is what we call in the U.S. an automatic car wash. It's, it's done by a machine. You can see how it spins on the side. This car wash moved my mirrors around, so when I go and park, I'll have to put my mirrors back. Washing again the outside. Yay, an automatic American car wash. And this is called spraying. The, the water was spraying on it. Now this is blowing hot air. It blows hot air on the car to try to dry it off. It sounds like a car engine or a, an airplane. you go through an American car wash. Now there's a sign that says drive. It's a green sign. That means I need to keep going. So I have to follow those signs. So in the U.S., green means go, red means stop, 
Yellow means go slowly. But now we're gonna park and we're gonna vacuum my car. And these vacuums, once you pay for the car wash, some car washes are free, uh, or the car wash is not free, but vacuums are. So even if I didn't wash my car, I could still come to this place of business, park my car, and use a free vacuum. So if I wanted to hand wash my car at home, I can do that and save about $5. And I can just come here and vacuum out my car with their free vacuums. So we're gonna do that now. Okay, so we just did the car wash. Now we're gonna use the free vacuum. Um, as you can see, the car wash, sometimes um, it'll move your mirror, so you'll have to put your mirror back if that happens to you or your car. Sometimes it doesn't, but it just so happened to mine today. So, to use the vacuums, what I usually do when I clean my car in the US is I usually open all my doors and I get all my garbage out, any trash, any cups I have. And there's usually a trash bin that you can use uh, that you can throw things away at. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and clean out my car. So, got a lot of junk in here. I had a lot of junk. Um, I usually like to recycle, but they don't have that option here at this place. Um, but usually I do. I like to recycle. So, oh, a pen. Hey, I'll need that. See, when you clean your car, you find things you didn't know you had. It's always good to clean your car. Some people like to do it once a week, some people once a month. I'm more of the once a month kind of person, but as long as you get it clean, it's helpful. So there, threw that trash away. I've got a little bit more I need to clean out before we vacuum. All right, hi, so I cleaned out um, a lot of junk in my car. I still have some things in my car, but I wanna keep them in there because maybe I'll take them into my office and organize them there. Uh, we'll also look into my trunk, but first, before we look in my trunk, we're gonna go ahead and vacuum now, like I mentioned. So the vacuums are actually like this. Um, they're usually attached like this and they're automatically going. They're always, um, the vacuum air is always sucking the air in. So you can hear that here, see? So I'll use this vacuum. All right. So here's the vacuum. your car now I could do a lot more I at home I'll probably get a washcloth or a rag and I'll wipe all the dust off of my car but because I don't have a cloth with me today I won't do that but I'll take my car home and I'll wipe it all down maybe I'll wipe the windows down with some Windex or some just cleaning paper towels or a cloth now let's look at my trunk and see how awful that is and as you can see it's been a while since I've cleaned my trunk so I have a lot of garbage in here. Some things I need to put in my garage at home. So I'm not going to vacuum in here because I have so many things. But if you want to see some fun things that are unique to the US, uh, firewood. Uh, many Americans like to buy these. You can buy these at gas stations or grocery stores. And people use them before they go camping or they'll put them in a fire pit outside and they'll chop it up and have a nice fire. Sometimes people cook on the fires. Um, but usually I use that. So I have firewood left over from a trip I took. I also have some interesting things here. I have a tackle box and this is full of supplies for fishing. So this is if I want to catch fish. I have different supplies here. And in Colorado we usually catch trout. Okay, here, this is an interesting thing in my trunk. Um, this is called an ice auger. Now it's summer, but a few months ago I used this in the mountains. Um, what you do, what, what people do with this is you put it on the ice. I'll remove this, and there's a sharp blade under here. I'll remove it, I'll put it on the ice, and then I'll spin it like this, and it will cut a hole in the ice, and it goes all the way down, and then it comes back up. Um, but I have to remove this for that to work. But it's called an ice auger. I have many papers I need to clean out. But here's the 
here's a toolbox I bring with me so I can change things if I need to. Some clothes I need to return. I did buy a light bulb. I had to change one of my lights on my car. So sometimes I leave extra light bulbs in here. But really my car needs a cleaning. So I'll have to take it home and clean it. But that's basically how you go through a car wash in the US and how you can clean your car. So thanks for watching. Hope this lesson was valuable for you.